New tonight, Upper Michigan residents and state lawmakers are worried about changes to the U.S. Postal Service's Kingsford Processing and Distribution Center. TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Blake Ryerson shares how these changes are affecting mail delivery to everyone from UP veterans to small businesses. Senator Gary Peters attended an oversight hearing on the United States Postal Service earlier today. He says the USPS should have considered the vital services using the post office in Iron Mountain before proposing changes to a service. My understanding is uh, during uh, the meeting, uh, postal officials uh, weren't even aware that there was a VA facility there, which is simply uh, unacceptable. There is no excuse uh, for uh, delivering uh, critical medications uh, late. Uh, and particularly uh, for our veterans. On April 1st, the United States Postal Service held a public meeting to hear concerns about proposed changes to the processing and distribution center in Kingsford. But Whitewater Associates project manager Betty Primo felt she did not get any answers. She says the USPS was unable to address the mail service changes affecting the business. We assumed this public hearing would address this issue along with the other issues that were talked about that day. The Postal Service representatives that were there at the meeting we're not aware of this change in service in the Upper Peninsula at all. Whitewater Associates must test water samples within 24 hours of collection, according to an EPA rule. Private delivery services are not possible substitutes for the USPS, according to Primo. She says one customer tried to FedEx a sample from Houghton without success. The cost was $100 to get it to us in Amazon, um, supposedly overnight, but it came via Milwaukee, and we received it two days later. Senator Peters requested a pause in implementing any changes until more information is available. Blake Ryerson, TV6 News, Iron Mountain.